Well, last time, Boris and Natasha had managed to smuggle their goof gas gun onto one of our secret missile bases. Oh, is there no way they can be stopped? Only if this show is cancelled, buddy. Uh, oh, in that case, go ahead. This way, Natasha. Where to, Boris? To the main control center. Halt! Who's there? <coughs> what is it you wanted, young man? Conductor, could you let me off at Mashola Parkway? Boris, he's as dumb as they go. And they're going any minute. And, oh dear, inside the control center, a gaggle of America's jet age whiz kids had prepared the greatest series of blast offs of American missiles. And suddenly the door swung open. Boris emptied the entire remainder of his goof gas in the close quarters of the control room. <laughs> The result, of course, was chaos. Some scientists began playing ball. One, two, three, O'Leary, four, four, five, six, O'Leary. O'Leary. Others gathered stupidly in front of the control panel. Uh, look at the pretty light. Maybe we can make them spell something. How about General Ledoon? It's a joke. <laughs> what was that again, Werner? How about General... <laughs> Fuzzy little comet. <laughs> How about General Lejeune is a dope? <laughs> oh, Werner, you're such a clown. <laughs> <laughs> and the scientists began to flip the switches to try to spell words on the light panel. As a result, the United States made one of the strangest multiple launches ever recorded. <laughs> Unfortunately, they all had one thing in common. They were all... <laughs> you may as well start from the top. <laughs> Unfortunately, they all had one thing in common. They were all headed for parts of the United States itself. Bullwinkle, we have to change the course of these missiles. A good idea. Some plucky fella's got to shift them off course. True, true. Bullwinkle, will you for heaven's sake ask me how we're going to do it? Oh, of course, of course. But, gee, Rock, how are we going to do it? Boy, try to be a modest hero in this program. Okay, and okay, how? I fly up to those missiles and direct them somewhere else. It'll never work. What makes you say so, Captain? Oh, I'm just helping to build up suspense. Ready, Bullwinkle? Ready, Rock! Then, hurry! Oop! And the plucky squirrel hurtled up, up, and up. Faster and faster he went until he began to trail a thin black plume behind him. Hokey smoke! Smoke! Yes, he was going so fast that the friction of air was beginning to singe his fur, but that didn't stop our boy. Squirrel! Squirrel! Approaching the first missile, he shoved its nose violently to one side. Then he did the same with another, and still another, until he had redirected every missile out over the ocean. Then down he plunged, getting hotter and hotter. Heavens to Eliza, he's a little fuzzy comet. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd get it in. Come on. Did you get that line mind clean? <laughs> no. It wasn't? We uh, laughed on it. God help us. How am I going to do it? <clears throat> Heavens to Eliza, he's... How are you going to do it? Heavens to Eliza, he's a little fuzzy comet. Uh, 248, part two, take one. Fortunately, when the now almost hairless Rocky returned to Earth, Bullwinkle was waiting with a tub of water. Shh. Meanwhile, Boris was already in touch with the dictator of Potsylvania. <laughs> you should have seen those crazy missiles, Chief. All directions at once. And where are they all aimed now, bad enough? Where are they all aimed now? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'll tell you who knows. <laughs> I know. Boris, all those missiles landed right on Pennsylvania. Well, time for a little vacation, Natasha. Where? How about the South Pole? You know, Boris, this makes us look pretty stupid. But there's one way you could look smarter, Natasha. How's that, darling? Shut up, you mouth! And back in Frostbite Falls... Gunny Sex Rock, you've been appointed a official astronaut. That's
that's astronauts. Funnier my way. Oh, it was nothing that any patriotic flying squirrel wouldn't have done. Rocky, there's only one word to describe a hero like you. And that is? Bold. Uh, 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 be with us next time for the further adventures of Rocky the Bald Flying Squirrel and his pal Bullwinkle. Hooray! Hey, that's me. Keep it rolling and I'll do the line. If he turns away, I'll do it. Heavens to Eliza, he's a little fuzzy comet. <laughs> I'll again. do it again. All right. <laughs> Heavens to Eliza. <laughs> Heaven. You gotta get your hand off your head, Paul. <laughs> Heavens to Eliza! He... <laughs> Heavens to Eliza! <laughs> Would you like to say afterwards? <laughs> 247 pickups <clears throat> featuring Paul Fries and Bill Conrad. He's going. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm behind that thing before we even started. 248, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 248 pickups. Take one. Heavens to Eliza. He's a little fuzzy comet. <laughs> he got it out. He got it out. He, made he beat it. you to it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. More pickups. <clears throat> oh, boy. Bullwinkle, we have to change the course of these missiles. A good idea. Some plucky fellow's got to shift them off course. True, true. What, what? What? More excited. Her or me? Me. Ah. Ah. That's what I thought. Jay is more excited. <laughs> I don't think I got the straight. <clears throat> Will you goose June, please? Goose June? Goose June. Still rolling? <clears throat> Bullwinkle, we have to change the course of these missiles. A good idea. Some plucky fellow's got to shift them off course. True, true. Bullwinkle, will you for heaven's sake ask me how we're going to do it? Oh, oh, of course. But, gee, Rock, how are we going to do it? Boy, try to be a modest hero in this program. Okay, okay. How? Oh. <laughs>